All right. So hi, everybody. I'm John uh, with Marola Tile Distributors of America. I am 30. Hey, Joe. Uh, I am 38 years in this tile industry. Started um, back in Brooklyn, New York. I was actually, I'll show you some pictures here, but I'm one of 11 children. Okay. If you look here on the picture, I'm the favorite and not my youngest sister that's here in the front row. Um, and they got stories about that. My brother Kevin um, actually got me a job in a local tile store in Brooklyn, New York back in like 1985. And in 1988, Kevin founded Marola Tile, and then I joined him in 1989. And so the company's 35 years ago, old this year. Um, in 2019, I purchased a part of the company that I run from my brother. So he's still my partner, but um, I sort of run this operation. And we really just have a particular way that we like to look at tile, a little bit different than your typical imported distributor. And I want to just talk a little bit about that. And I have my cheat notes. So whoop, go back a little bit. One more. So these are our logos. We, pr we just developed a new logo this year. Marola Tile is who we are. I'm John Marola, and that's sort of our main company name. And we use that name with a lot of our national distributors. Uh, but some of our smaller brick and mortar customers are not necessarily fans of showing off that brand. And so we create an off brand that we use for our dealer customers, which is Summer Tile, which actually stands for Special Order Marola Tile. So S, the Special Order Order Marola Tile. And uh, quite often we even remove our branding for a lot of our distributor customers because people are not necessarily looking for our brand. They're looking for the experience of the store that they're shopping in. And so a little story about our logos, and we're pretty excited about them. Uh, now, as a national distributor, we need to provide a experience that can be repeatable for people. And so we sort of think we have a line, it's our company motto on what we do. And our motto is we consistently provide same-day shipping of emotionally inspiring quality ceramic tiles that arrive to the customer in perfect brand new condition as expected. Now, as a wholesaler, um, there's all different ways to get product by truck, by UPS, and different things. And we need to get the product to the customer quickly. We need to get it in brand new condition. The box is beautiful, the tile clean, and it needs to be as expected. Whether people bought from a photograph or from an actual sample, they want when they get the delivery, they want to match. It's not like you go to McDonald's and you buy a hamburger. You're not expecting to look like the photograph that you see. But with tile, that has to be exactly how you pictured it to get a happy customer. And we have an entire team of people that are really dedicated to this. We're 125 families and people, and they're all great. They're, they're our friends. They're people that we work with every day that really care about what we're doing and care about giving that final experience. Company culture is something that I think makes us very unique because we're employee-centric customer. Take good care of your employees. They're going to go and take good care of the product and your customers. And so we're just really proud. We don't get anything done. We don't have our experience here at the show without having these great people behind us supporting us. So um, something about us. So we buy sort of eclectic looking tiles. Through the years, uh, as you all know, you see certain tiles that sort of grab you and feel different. And how can you be a distributor to some of the largest companies in America and be able to still re maintain a margin and be a profitable company? So we went out and we decided that we buy products that are very unique, very special, and then when we find one that wins, we really try to become the real authority in that product. So for example, uh, about 10 years ago, uh, the encaustic look came back really strong. Uh, we were in there early. Uh, this is our Arte series. We brought in white, black, and gray, and it sold very well for us. After a while, everyone else said, wow, that's a good selling product. And so other people jumped into the market. And so instead of just saying, okay, let's go for the next trend, we decided to become the authority for this particular look in the encaustic. And so with this particular product, we now have 65 different variations of this exact look in stock in our warehouse for our customers, our distributors, and whoever is actually the end user for the product. So you want it in blue, you want it in green, you want it in pink, you want it with the wood look, you want it with the marble look, we have it. Another one that we think that we are the product authority of in the United States is the star pattern. Uh, you know, as an importer, um, our first order for this product was, oh, that's a pretty cool look, let's try it out. We bought one pallet of this product, and it, I think it was eight, nine years ago. Uh, Three years ago, this was our number one selling item. We were going through a full truckload every month. Now, sure enough, you sell that much product, people notice, other people start trying to get variations of that one there. So once again, we didn't just stick with having one. We bought in blue, we brought in other colors. In fact, 
We have 36 different versions of the star pattern in our program. And we're actually developing more of both of these programs right now. Now, the next program, so the recession back in 2009 was uh, pretty impactful on our business. Our sales dropped about 50, 60 percent. What we saw during the recession is people still needed to improve their homes, but they weren't doing their entire project. So whether they were doing their entire kitchen or their entire bathroom, they moved it over and just did the shower area or just the backsplash. And so we decided, hey, we're going to go with mosaics. And many of the industry, they went and they moved towards glass mosaics. Well, we went porcelain mosaics. Glass is nice, but I'm a, real, I'm a ceramic guy, and we like the porcelain mosaics. And one of the programs we went heavy in was the penny rounds. Uh, and we started bringing in penny rounds, white, black, blue, pink. But you know what? The factory we were buying from was a little bit unreliable. So if I had this blue and it sold well and we ran out, it might take us six months to a year to get more inventory. So we actually went and said, what other blues do you have? So we wound up buying more blues, more pinks, yellows, green, you name it. We now have 58 different penny rounds currently in our program, and we're developing more. The number was higher. Um, it took a hit with the China anti-dumping about five years ago, but we're now fully through that cycle and expanding this program. And I think that really one of our greatest success stories right now is hexagons. I've been always a fan of hexagon tiles from, from back in the day. Sometimes I'll, you know, I'll take pictures of store walks, like they all have their little logos in the front walkway walking into their stores. And so we like hexagons. We like mosaic hexagons. We like medium hexagons. We like big hexagons. And so we just, at different colors, some have metallic finishes, some of this, some make patterns. Well, with hexagons, well, they make an impact, but in our warehouse in New Jersey, we have 352 different hexagons in stock, from one inch mosaics up to eight inch, 18 inch large porcelain floors. We are the authority. So when you're looking for those eclectic looks and the things that we go with, we don't just do it when we find success. We do it. So that, that sort of helps us be unique, and the people that partner with us are able to offer this entire collection to their customers. Now, for coverings, we have to go and say, hey, what are our bets? We have a nice booth, 4267 is our booth. We're sort of on the racetrack over in that direction. Come pay us a visit. But we made a few bets in our booth this year, the trends that we think, hey, this is where we've invested our money in the past year to expand programs. The first program, when you walk up to a booth, you'll see our new big logo up there. Um, but we have just a very simple white subway tile. It's called Piscina. Uh, this is a porcelain wall and floor tile. comes in matte and glossy. The matte finish had that uh, bio treatment in it, so that bacteria, it's like antimicrobacterial protective. And we have just a few colors, but come and look. We have loose pieces there. It's not just you would typically consider your regular subway tile. It is a really nice crafted product, and we're very proud of the program. And it, it is industrial grade, and we have a nice set of colors in this. Uh, when you walk into our booth, you'll notice our floor. It's a series called Mahino. Mahino uh, was actually the brainchild of our friend Rodrigo, and uh, he saw when he was at one of the glazing factories trying to go and say, I want to develop something. And he was showing him different marbles and stones to match. And he saw this thing hanging on the wall, and he's like, well, that's really cool. Can we do that? He says, well, that, that's just a piece of rusted metal. And he's like, oh, you mean that's not a tile or stone? He says, no, it's rusted metal. Says, Can you do that? And so they developed this. And, and part of his inspiration is a ship called the Mahino Shipwreck in Australia, and the rust from the copper, the metals, the ocean, the beach started creating all these different colors There you see a range. There's a lot of faces on this thing. There's like 70 different faces of different stone in this tile. Maybe not so many, but I, I know there's a lot, and it just, whoop, going back. Mihino? Mihino? Oh, Mihino, okay. Did I skip past the slide? Okay, Mihino, Mihino. All right, so the next program is, is black. So we've been a big fan of black tile for a long, long time. If you've seen our booth over the last seven years, we've always had one wall dedicated to it. So if you come to our booth, you'll see this one outside wall, all dedicated to different shades of black tile, wall, floor, ceramic, porcelain, all different types of looks. And we're very proud of the different black tiles that we have. We think that this is a trend that's been on top for about five years and has several more years to go because it, it's, it's the new beige, right? Or the new gray. I think beige is the new gray is what everyone's saying, but uh, this is a safe bet, and we're proud of our program. 
Okay, this actually is our Gaudi Luxe, so this is very nice. It has a matte finish on top, but in the recessed areas, it's glossy. We also have one that's all matte, and we have a bunch of different colors just in that series. Every one of these products that you see here is actually part of a collection, but we're just showing you the black color in each program. After that, we have our famous Llama program. Now, this one has like a little silly story to it. So back when our youngest daughter was back in grammar school, she and her friends would like play around, and she started doing hand llamas. And, um, and it was very cute and very adorable. It was so cute that her and her friends in school started doing hand llamas together. And then they all started bringing the hand llamas home to dinner. And so they'd be eating dinner. So what are you doing in school today? And the llama would come out. It, it was just a wonderful time uh, just growing up and just being parents and being a family. And so we bought this nice big picture of a llama and we hung it in our dining room for about a year until we were like, okay, enough. But the llama became part of our family. Now this particular program actually started off with the name Amazon. Uh, the only thing is if you show product on the internet, if you type Amazon, everyone thinks Amazon.com. So we had to get rid of Amazon, but we letters on the box so what we, we call it, Amazonia, blah, blah, blah. And we, so wait, how about we just drop two L's at the beginning and drop the Zon, okay? And so that's where the Llama program came. And this is a mix of all the different things that we think we love as a company. The wood looks, the marble looks, uh, the encaustics, and then the planes, and it's an entire program, and I hit the off button. Help! <laughs> hey, all right, all right, great. So the llama program, and go back. Here we go. So planks, hexagons, really great program. Uh, what we try to do with this program, to be a 30, try and be complete. So if someone's decorating a home and they like this color palette, they can bring the wood plank through to the kitchen, use one of the decoratives in a powder room, et cetera, et cetera, and just carry through the whole workplace. We are working on uh, the wall tile program. We do have a 2 by 10 brick, and we're working on a uh, 13 by 26 uh, porcelain wall floor tile also to add to the program. Uh, next one, which I think everyone is like, terracotta, oh, terracotta's coming back, terracotta's hot. And, and we've always liked terracotta tiles, so everyone's saying terracotta hot. Okay, do we have enough terracottas to make a terracotta wall in our booth? And sure enough, we do. We have plenty of terracotta looks, from acoustics to stone to planks. And so these are all the different terracottas that we're just showing off on the booth. So you come, we got one wall, we'll walk you through and show you our terracotta looks. And then finally, I think the thing that we always like in our booths, we take one wall and we sort of put some tiles that are a little bit out there. And we like to call it our emotionally connective wall. And so this is where we have the dog tiles, we have the graffiti tiles, with all these crazy colors. And if you think about it, most distributors, this is another program where maybe they'll buy one thing like this. And we have dozens and dozens of program and products that just create this emotional connection. And these are the trends that we're betting on for the show. So I'm going to step away for a second. We have just a little video to show off the llama program for you, and then I'll come back and talk a little more. Oh, here are emotional tiles again. Do I just press the button again? Here we go. Very proud of my team for putting that together. So thank you to them very much. You know, just thinking about the llama too, um, we would actually take vacations and we would find llama farms. We even did lunch one day where we put picnic baskets and they hung them over the llamas and we got to walk with them up a hill and we had like a little picnic. Um, it was all nice except uh, there were no bathrooms. So we had to figure that out, which we did, which we did. Uh, so with this, I'm just gonna end with a little story which has nothing to do with tile. Okay, so um, back when our daughters were growing up, I'm going to put the clicker down. Um, my daughters joined um, marching band. 
Now, when I went to school, I went to school, it was like a nerd school, there were no interscholastic sports. So I had no idea about marching band or football or cheerleaders or any of that. We didn't have that in our school. And so when our daughter joined marching band, it was awesome. We went, we started volunteering, we joined the, the, the PTA group for the music sponsors, and Suleiman. And, uh, and me and my wife, we actually went and we, we ran the food booth. And by the way, the four years that we ran the food booth, they never made as much profit for the, for the band as we did. But we just enjoyed it very, very much. And, and we made some very good friends. And my friend Rob was actually part there. And then one day, Rob had come into the booth, and we worked in the booth, and then he left. But he left his um, extension cord behind, which I have here, OK? And um, so what I did is I took his extension cord, and I went when I, I was like, oh my God, he left it. I took a picture of it. I said, Rob, I have your extension cord. I took a picture of it, threw it in my trunk, meant to give it to him the next day. But life happened. About a month or two later, I'm cleaning out my trunk, and I find the extension cord again. So I take a picture of the extension cord, and I send it to Rob. About six months later, I find the extension cord again. Ha <laughs> ha, guess what? I still have your extension cord. I'm not giving it back. Uh, and, and, and pretty soon, extension cord has come on vacations with us. You know, we were up in the mountains, and like, emptying out the trunk, and we have the extension cord, taking a picture. And just last week, and this is like seven years now, and last week I'm dropping my daughter off at school, and we're taking the bags out of the trunk, and here comes the extension cord again. So we took a nice selfie with the extension cord, and Rob gets a picture. So this is strictly just so I can send him a picture uh, that his, his extension cord is part of present day. We got a good picture? Yes. Love that. All right? So, yeah. So if you want to remember anything today, remember extension cord guy. And, and, and thank you all, and thank you to this industry that has really captivated me back when I was just a youth and, and you know, trying to find what am I going to do with life. And don't put the extension cord. That's Rob, by the way. He's upset, creating this thing on the screen. And it, it's just been so good, so good to me, to my family, to my company, to the people I have the glory of working with. And... Um, and uh, we're proud members of the CTDA. I'll put a plug in for them. If you're not supporting the distributors and, and, and your industry, uh, be part of it because it's more fulfilling than just selling and making money. So with that, thank you all very much. Oh, yeah. Oh. We have cool bags. One side has the star. The other side has the doggies. And we have doggy pens. We have little doggy pens. Come by the booth, you get a bag, you get a pen, and we have water. And we, and, and we snuck in coffee. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody.